Welcome to the Redco Passenger app. Today we'll be going through how you can book a ride. To select a pickup or drop off address, you can type using the address bar at the top or tap to select a drop off and pick a point. We're going to go ahead and tap on the map to select our pickup point. Next, we'll tap on the address bar at the top to select our drop off point. We can choose from recent or recommended locations or type in an address. Now that we've selected our pickup and drop off locations, we're going to choose our seat type and number of riders. Next, we'll choose the day that we'd like to book this ride for. Rides can be booked on demand, pre-scheduled, or multi-day reoccurring. Finally, we'll select the time that we'd like to be picked up. Now, let's go see what rides are available for us. Based on our selections, the system will show us the most optimal set of rides to choose from. Here we'll be able to confirm our pickup or drop off location, as well as choose a pickup time and arrive before time that best suits us. On each ride card, you can see the pickup and drop off location, as well as fare information, details about your pickup window, as well as a set arrives before time, so we can be sure that we'll arrive on time to our next appointment or transit connection. Once we've selected which ride we'd like to take, we're presented with a confirmation window. Next, we'll confirm our pickup and drop off location, as well as add any special instructions or information that could help our driver identify us. And then we're ready to book our ride. On the Track My Ride screen, we're reminded of our pickup window and arrives before time. We can view an ETA of when we can expect to be picked up, as well as the number of stops ahead of us. There's also a map view where we can see our pickup point, as well as real-time tracking of our driver. If we need to, we have the option to cancel our ride before getting picked up. And at the bottom of the screen, we can see all of our ride details as well as add any additional instructions that we may have missed in the earlier steps. You'll want to be ready and waiting at your pickup point when your vehicle arrives. Once we've been picked up, we'll be able to track our trip using the map, and we'll also be provided with an ETA and information about any stops that are along the way. Once you've been dropped off, you can take a minute to provide feedback on your ride. And with that, we're all ready to go out and book our first trip. Thanks for watching.